Okay. All right, you found it. All right. So, back in what was it? I, I think it was sometime in November. We were actually talking about uh, the four students. You can pin comments. There you go. Like you, yeah, you have everything at your disposal right there. All right. So back in November, we talked about the case where the four college students out in Idaho were murdered. All right. Four people in their home. Done. <laughs> the trust with me is strong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think you're gonna go fuck nothing up. All right, that's what it is. But the four students were uh, stabbed to death, and then there was there were two other people in the house at the same time. Initially, I could have swore they said it was two other uh, guys that were there, but it was a, a, a another guy and a girl down on the the bottom floor. The police said that nothing came of it. There was there was no evidence to anything. There were no uh, there were no um, suspects, and no one saw anything. Well, like I said, Nina sent this video over to me here, and I watched through this one. But then I went and I started doing a whole bunch of other research, and uh, I actually found something that I think I can pull up right now that we can actually check out. And I'm gonna break down and tell you right now. Pretty much everything they said at the beginning was a damn lie. I was right in what I said, though. When it came to the weapon, I told you guys, based on everything they had said, it was one of two things. That it was either a, um, uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. That it was a very specific type of, uh, of, uh, knife. They still have not found the murder weapon. And... It turns out that, yeah, it was a K-Bar, all right? And if you don't know what that is, look it up. But it's something that a lot of people in the military will know a great deal about. Um, and, uh, yeah, specifically Marines. Now, they haven't found the murder weapon, but based on the sheath, yes, there was a sheath that was found there. They know it was a K-Bar because... It flat out said on the sheath, K-Bar and USMC. Was it someone that was in the military? No one knows. But let's take a quick look at this uh, this video here just to see what information they give. And then I'll give more information because last night after watching what we... Are you serious right now? Yeah. After watching what we watched last night in that little update, that was nothing. Absolutely nothing. All right, let's see. First off, let me switch. Okay, we're already at 125. Let me know if I need to adjust the volume on anything. Let's get this cracking. So, God, her voice is so goddamn low. So they got him in court immediately. And remember, this is just the, the initial appearance. He'll have to go back in. I believe it's on January 12th. And then after that, uh, they'll probably set an actual date for any form of trial that's coming up. But he is facing multiple murder charges and and what they're saying that he could end up with death or life in prison. I see the rights that you have in this case. I am going to go over the criminal complaint with you and then we're going to discuss setting the matter for further hearing. You have the following rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. You have the right to the presumption of innocence. That means the state bears the burden to prove that you are guilty of this offense beyond a reasonable doubt. Now, now that's important right there. They have to prove without a reasonable doubt that he's guilty of what he's being charged with. And people have to kind of keep that in mind because I know a lot of people are making uh, videos on this, talking about it, everything else. And before I even go any further, I'm going to say it right here, right now. Like, we could joke around and be like, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. 
you know, you, you can say that all you want, but the fact is, oh, now you have to get a cat. <laughs> I Look, I, I used to have, I had, uh, well, in the, we had four cats and a dog. And they, uh, all four cats were kind of like very, very uh, much each one, like they had our kind of um, mentalities, I guess. There, there was one spare cat, which essentially <laughs> she just hung out with everybody. Now, now you need to get a kitten. Ten out of ten, you made the merch, so now it's a must. <laughs> you like that? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of new merch that's on there right now too. It's, it's not dumb. It's not. Um, there'll be more stuff, but there's, there's a lot more. <laughs> Guys, obviously, scum don't like kittens. Kittens are great when they get into full fledged cats. It's like, okay, now you're annoying. But anyway, but yeah. So, I'm not saying he did it. I'm not saying, <laughs> let me just report you real quick. I'm not saying this guy did it. I'm not saying he didn't do it. But the evidence that, you know, kind of that's, uh, that I'm going to kind of give out to is, is, is stacking the cards against him. Very much so. All right. You have the right to a preliminary hearing. A preliminary hearing is a probable cause hearing. At that hearing, the state must establish that more likely than not, these felony offenses were committed, and you were the one that committed the felony offenses. Trial set within six months of your appearance in district court. At both your preliminary hearing and Okay, we're, we're going to skip past this. ...did unlawfully enter a residence located at 1122 King Road, Moscow, with the intent to commit the felony crime of murder in violation of Idaho Code 18-1401 and 1403. The maximum penalty for that offense, if you plead guilty or are found guilty, is not less than one year in prison, no more than 10 years in prison, and or a $50,000 fine or both. Do you understand? Yes. Count two alleges that you committed the felony offense of murder in the first degree. It alleges that the defendant, Ryan C. Koberger, on or about November 13th, 2022, in Lake Talk County, State of Idaho, did willfully, unlawfully, deliberately, with premeditation and with malice aforethought, kill... So they got... So notice that she said with premeditation and malice and forethought. That's huge. That's huge. And initially, it looked like when we watched that video yesterday, it was a thing of how is he tied to this? When I tell you right now, it's going to be like, oh, oh, but they definitely have him tied to that house at the very least, if not the individuals. And murder Madison Mogan, a human being by stabbing Madison Mogan from which she died. In violation of Idaho Code 18-4001, 4002, 4003, and 4004. The maximum penalty for this offense, if you were to plead guilty or be found guilty, is death or imprisonment for life. Do you so there, they're laying it out there. It's, it's almost looking like this is going to be a capital offense. That's how they're going to run this case, or this, uh, this actual um, this trial. That's what I'm guessing. This is going to be a capital, a, a capital situation. He will, and I'm willing to bet with four individuals and the way it was done, yo, they gonna put him to death. You understand? Yes. Count three alleges that you. It just goes all. And Mr. Thompson. You know, the state's position is Mr. Kohlberger is not qualified to title bond in the state's position. Okay, so it's not gonna go over the other stuff that uh that I was that I'm gonna tell you guys, but essentially. This is where they got him. Damn. They got me twice. Hydrate. My bad. I missed the first one with Nina. And scope. So, this guy, it says you did 22 minutes ago. Oh, oh, damn. I, I just did it twice. It says I'm first. I, I read Hydrate. I was reading Scopes, and I, <laughs> I tested it to both of you. All right. So this guy, when we were questioning how he was actually connected to the people in the house, they found out. Well, what I found out is that he had actually driven past or been around this house on 12 different occasions yeah that's fine 
it's not overpowering my voice, is it? So they found out that he had actually gone past this house on 12 different occasions. For what reason? There really should have been none from what I understand. How he was caught was that the cell phone pinged off of the tower near the home on all occasions. Yeah, Nina, let him do what he... <laughs> but uh, not just that. On one occasion, he was actually pulled over outside of the house. And this was prior to the, mur the murders. Next up, when they actually said uh when they when they said that there was no information on anyone in the area anything like that well one of the things that wasn't said was that there was a white car matching his description unknown plate that was near the house that evening to make matters worse to kind of tie that into it as well during the murders his phone didn't ping in the area but somewhere within the time after all of a sudden his phone pings off in said area, which kind of looks like he committed the acts, turned off his cell phone during that point in time and then turned it on while he was trying to make the getaway, which you're an idiot. For as much as he knows about criminology, for as much as he's studied this, for as much as everyone thinks that he's a genius in this situation, well, he was stupid enough to turn his phone on while trying to make the getaway. Five days after the murders, supposedly he went and got his license plate changed. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? He should have just left his phone at home. The facts. He said, well, I see how it is. What? Not, I'm sorry, but you're muted in my mind. <laughs> oh, wow. Y'all trashing each other. He should have left his phone at home. He should have like, yo. I'm being bullied in chat, but that's, that's part of the things that actually got him. The Reddit post that they threw out there is kind of a, kind of a smoking gun. Okay. It's kind of a smoking gun because of the questions that he asked or the things that he asked for in that Reddit post asking or asking to speak to other criminals and things like that saying that he wanted to understand their mindset, how they felt after committing the crimes that they had committed. Did Reddit help catch another criminal? Look, I've seen it. And what's funny is Nina made a statement yesterday about how if you look at him, he actually looks like the type to do it. Well, I said he fit the, the type of uh, profile that would be created for an individual like this as well. That's kind of a bad look for you to put out such a post after this happened as well. That's what makes it even worse. This wasn't before. He had one before, but then he he's put out one afterward. That just doesn't look good at all. Okay, so let's talk about the let's talk about the coincidences so far. <laughs> yo, big brain moment. Hey yo, let's talk about the coincidences so far. First off, you're around that house on 12 different occasions. Okay. Someone said that they saw your vehicle within the area <coughs> afterward. A vehicle that fit your it's uh, your vehicle's description. The Reddit post. Okay. We can all say, eh, that's not that big of a thing. But then it gets worse. Next up. In the house, the young lady who survived the situation said that she saw the individual in the home wearing all black, gave a description. It fit this dude's description. The only thing was he was wearing a mask that co that covered his, uh, you know, mouth and nose. But he had bushy eyebrows, everything else, bushy brow. We talking about Rock Lee right now. But I mean, we, we saw him. He, he got the bushy brows and everything else. Is the height and the body build description actually matches as well. How it is that she possibly survived and how it is the other roommate possibly survived. Nina, you said that he, you probably thought he didn't know. I'm going to say that you're probably right that he didn't know that they were there. But also, how did she see him, but he not see her? Well, you have to think about that. You're in the middle of either A, a uh, being about to commit cold-blooded, don't even A. <laughs> 
cold-blooded. That's exactly what this dude was. But if you're in the middle of committing, you know, an act or whether you're about to or you're trying to uh, get out, it's dark in the place, everything else. You're not really paying attention to the consequences of someone else catching you. If he premeditated this in the way that he did, the mega, oh, Lord. If he premeditated this in the way that they're assuming he did, he figured he went in, did what he had to do, and then got the fuck out. He wasn't thinking about anyone else potentially being there. Four people, that's probably all he had ever seen going in and out of the house, no matter how many times he cased it, because that's exactly what he was doing on those 12 different occasions. If he committed this act, he was casing the joint. Well, wait. If she was awake and seen him, why did it take them so long to report? That was my next thing. In that case, no, 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 no. She reported it that night. The cops lied, and rightfully so. Here's what we all have to understand. When it comes to, you know, the police, detective work, different stuff like that, they're not going to give out all the information right away. The more like secure or the more um, uh, well, the more uh, a uh, criminal feels like they're not being sought, the more uh, messy they get. All right. And in this case, it worked out to where this is where it gets better. All right. It worked out to where not only did they lie about that. But the evidence that they actually found that night is what led them to him. Remember how we were all asking, how the hell did they get potential DNA evidence? Well, the knife sheet was left there. On the button, if you know anything about having uh, specific types of knives, and I know from like K-bars and everything else, typically, you know, you have your sheath, but then you have a little like metal piece right there on the front front that you're flipping up in order to pull the the knife out that's all that was left behind he was sloppy enough if again again presumably this individual committed it but he was not he was sloppy enough to leave the k-bar sheath behind on the k-bar sheath there was dna the dna and this is where, you know, people who made all those assumptions, oh my God, allegedly, exactly. This is where all those people who always have that, um, that mind state of, oh, the government's watching us. They're, they're watching us. And if you do those 23 and me, uh, uh, um, DNA checks and everything else, they're just going to have your, your information and all that in a database. Well, you're not wrong, but technically a lot of people already have their DNA on file with the government for numerous other reasons but essentially yes one of those tests actually led <laughs> led them to him when they pulled the sheath this is where it gets kind of murky it skips from them having the sheath and the the uh dna on there or the even the, the uh, print on there and it leads him all the way to Pennsylvania to his dad's house where they pulled his trash and did DNA, uh, a DNA check on trash, which had a 99.998, like, like some ridiculous number to say that this is a match, a hereditary match to the father, presumably a son, which then led them to him. And after le being led to him, what they did was they watched him the entire time. They were purposely pulling him over. Even on the drive where uh, the cop had pulled him over, the reason why that was done was because the FBI had actually <laughs> put the police onto him and said, hey, we want you to pull him over multiple times throughout that drive. Because they were trying to find evidence of any scrapes, scratches, anything else like that on his body. 
So the video that Nina sent me actually spoke on that, but when I actually went through and did more research and pulled up the actual affidavit and everything else, it was made known that they were pulling him over for such things as, I mean, like possible, uh, you know, um, following too close to the vehicle ahead of him, just all kinds of shit, just to not just keep track of him, but to actually keep checking him out for any potential wounds on his body that could have been healing, which could have pertained to the actual case itself. There was more stuff that it went into as far as that affidavit, but I'm going to say this right here, right now, even though <clears throat> allegedly he may have committed these crimes. Yo, there's a whole lot of evidence that's stacking up against him to say that this is more than just coincidence. They went and pulled all the stops. Facts, facts, they really did. They really did. They played a cat and mouse game with this dude in order to come up with all the evidence that they have and pull him in on these charges. In this case, this almost looks like it was smart detective work. Not some sloppy, shoddy, thrown together, uh, you know, uh, mishmash of shit to go and just grab any standard individual. What they don't know is where the knife came from, though, still to, at this point, And they don't know where the knife is. All they know is that they have that K-bar sheet, which it's kind of. It would be circumstantial. If not for the fact. That his DNA or, you know, that there was DNA on the sheet itself. People thought, you know, it might have been his father. Maybe his dad was in the military. There's nothing showing that. that maybe his dad was in the Marines. Rock. But there's nothing showing that. In fact, it's more than likely thought that he did exactly what I said he did, which he could have gone to like a pawn shop or to a uh, military surplus store. Even, you know, got this thing offline. They kind of had to to show possible other killers that if, if this dude didn't get away, you won't either. But here's the thing, though, for as intelligent as he was supposed to be, he fucked up. And the problem with stuff like this being put out, really, is that it actually kind of gives you, and I hate to say it, <laughs> but it actually kind of gives you a roadmap on how to better get away with something like this. Because let's think about it. Honestly, if he didn't have his cell phone on every time he went and cased the joint, or if he didn't have his cell phone on, him every time he went and cased the place eh, eh. would they really have much if he didn't leave behind the most important thing the sheath would it ever have would he ever have been uh, looked at for this i mean look at jack the ripper dude still unknown facts facts no cell phones during that point in time. The, as far as like DNA evidence, it was really a, a mess. And in fact, I mean, Jack the Ripper, look at look at that situation right there. They still, if you look into it, they still presume that it's like four different individuals, not one. There's one that they looked at more, you know, prevalently than the others, but they could never actually piece it together to say it's definitely 100 percent him there was no internet during that time people weren't going on reddit putting out stupid ass <laughs> the man lightweight dry snitched on him if it, it on itself if it was him all that training everything he went through as far as what he was studying did not work out in the end for him because he made way too many mistakes. That going to change the license plate five days after on his car. I mean, the only time I've had to go and change my license plate was when somebody stole the uh, uh, the tag off of it. They like they have a bad problem out here where people are like in parking lots, whatever, and they are stealing the tags off of license plates. And they forced me to replace my whole entire plate at that point in order to get the new tag and everything else. Slice it up some, exactly, that's what I got told. I, I just had, all I had to do was just put an X in it. That's what the people at the DMV told me at that point in time, they were just like, exit with a razor or something like that, and you shouldn't have that issue anymore.
because then they'll they'll have to like piece by piece it. But then again, I've seen people still do it just to be dicks because they know more than likely you're going to have to you know waste time or pay money whatever and they think they're smart enough to pull it off without ripping it apart that's how you know you're in the hood no no that's the crazy thing i'm talking at grocery stores and shit that's what i'm talking about not even not even like in your own your own like carport or driveway anything like that but people do it out here for it's like yo yo <laughs> yeah I, I don't know it, it's the meth i think the sun and the meth I, I don't know people do the dumbest shit yeah it's still getting taken yeah facts i mean and that's the only way i can presume that if his tags got stolen he was forced to change the plate or his license plate as a whole got stolen i've had that happen before years and years ago had that happen but this is too many coincidences. Coincidences. I don't know if you guys have heard anything else about it, but what do you think? Do you think out of everything that I just told you right now and all the other stuff that we've looked at, how accurate can it, you know, can we presume that, you know, it was <laughs> it was possibly him? Me personally at this point in time, look, we always have to keep in mind innocent until proven guilty but when you start stacking the evidence like that even though a lot of it's circumstantial maybe he'll have I, maybe he really is gonna come out and be like yeah i was fucking old girl you know i was fucking one of them some, some craziness like that or i was buddy buddy with another one but where the sheath was found is the real problem uh, let's see. The guy just learned everything in school and was like, let me do the opposite. <laughs> she said, oh, guilty. Oh, my God. Yo, that that's true. But it goes to prove that, like, when you're in the heat of, of the moment in situations like that, I think all logic goes out the door for most people. They can't they can't think rationally enough to not do certain and that that's what makes it really really funny because everyone's been like oh he he's he he knows so much about this how could he how could they possibly have him and even we looked at it kind of from that perspective i know i did for a second i'm like how do you study this and go and fuck up like that how wait tell me why he looks like that batman movie killer the riddler are you talking about the riddler <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that is crazy but yeah so i mean that's no no the guy with the pew pew in the movie the, oh shit holy crap that's crazy do a side by side. Let me pull up. Holy shit. <coughs> Let's see. How should I search this? Uh Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why did you have to point that out? Yo, listen, I, I don't I don't say, you know, all white people look the same, but these two niggas do look real close. It's the eyes. It's the, it's the eyes. He looks wow. That's so crazy. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's the eyes right there. They always catch him with this this cop this type of stare. Always the big bug eyed like, yeah, yeah, and I do it again. That type of stare. They always get him in photographs like that. This dude's eyes just naturally. This motherfucker like straight up just got them eyes. Look at him. Yo. 
put it put a little a little facial hair on him. Oh, you ain't even wrong. <laughs> Nina, wow. That's nuts. But I mean, look, I, I think in this case, they are going to go for the death penalty. I do think so. I don't I don't see how they couldn't in something like this. Like, I know so many people disagree with uh capital punishment and everything else, but when it's something like this, it, and it was obviously premeditated. I think they said that it goes all the way back to like August, the first time that he actually had visited or cased out the house. The, the police should just hire me on the spot. All you got to do, the, way, the FBI, you just look at him and be like, the eyes, it's him. Go get him. Go get him. It's in the eyes. Wow. No, but... They said he had been casing the place since like August. So, I mean, it happened in November. Come on now. But, I mean, actually, it, it might have been a, a situation where it was sooner than that. It might have been like July, July or August, one of the one or the other. It's like three to four months that he was casing the joint out before it actually happened in November. So. If he was watching it, how did he not know others were there too? Right, and that's the thing. That's what I wonder. But I think about that, and I think about one a uh, couple of my old houses. So <clears throat> beyond the front door, I had a side door that actually led into one of the main bedrooms. You could get in from that area. And then, of course, the back door and the garage door. Now, with the back door, I had a back fence where I could uh, unlock it to go in through the back. And depending on how you're living in those situations, especially especially in university, in university, even though you live in the same house, doesn't mean you necessarily like all the time co-mingle <clears throat> or that you even use the same door to go in. If you live on the lower, if like they, like I said, if there's the two individuals that live on the lower level, there's a very high possibility they were using a separate door that he never saw. I mean, because you saw the layout of the, the layout of that place. Now, I kind of want to pull it up again. Let's see if we can get a quick look at the house real fast. Authorities in Idaho are trying to track down. I want to see if we can get a quick look at the house. Now, club. Okay, no, not going to get it. It's going to take too long for me to find it. But yeah, my thing is, like I said, they have no idea as to why those two were left behind. They don't know. But my thing is, he might not have seen them. Or he possibly thought that they just weren't home that night. That's my only guess on it. That's the only thing I can think of is that he had no clue that they were home that night when all of this went down. So, I don't know. Again, you guys tell me what you think. Uh, do you think he's guilty or not? First off. And any clue as to why he could have potentially left them home. Other than what I'm thinking, which is he just didn't know they were there. But yeah. Yeah. Everybody on YouTube and on Twitch, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, YouTube, go ahead leave your thoughts in chat and definitely in the comments like the video subscribe and if you're on twitch go ahead and give a follow if you haven't already and if you want to subscribe that'd be fantastic feel free to hop into chat as well so that's all i got on that i was thinking about doing tender tonight but <clears throat> not everybody's on so i might hold off on tender might get